Hey folks, my name is Ian and this is my Ford Transit Connect camper. Today I want to talk to you about overhead storage above the cab area and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Let's have a look. This was just a wooden board with my metal strip for my magnetic curtains. I'm sure you've seen my magnetic curtains before. Maybe not, I'll do a video about them. But the area above I wanted to make into a storage place into a storage area but it was difficult because there's not a great deal of height I didn't know how well it was going to work and I've not really seen any videos on other people doing them apart from one guy I'll put him up here Jake, is his name Jake? I can't remember, anyway there's one guy who did it and he, he touched on it just the slightest little bit but I want to see how people do it so in the end I've just had to bite the bullet do it myself so what I've done is I've got my conventional backing board. Now for anyone who's got Connect, you will see that the trim runs up to there. So initially when I made this, I just had it resting on these bits. It is now actually screwed in, but I just had it resting on those bits there. And it stayed like that, it squeaked like hell. A bird, it did actually stay like that. And it was like that for a long time, it worked absolutely fine. But I got used to that height and then I thought, right, so that is probably about the right sort of height I need for the storage. Now on the other, so other side, you'll see in the cab area, it's a little bit dark, but you've got your parcel shelf that's there. Parcel shelf, whatever it's called, that bit. A little bit of storage. Now I'm well aware of these sensors, I haven't got any idea what they're for. If any of you lot can tell me what they're for, then comment below. I don't know if they're movement sensors for the alarm, God knows, but I don't want to block those. So my plan is to run from here across to there as low as I can go and gain all that space. So what I did was I took my nine mil ply board, possibly softwood and And I then, I'd already previously cut its shape, I made a template, I made a template out of cardboard, snipping a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, it got it right. And then made my template, so I fixed that, made that bit there. And then I decided to cut this out. Obviously that's going to be my baseline because of the metal strip. This is my baseline because of the roof lining. So I've kind of gone with that edge of the roof lining just there and that's what is added on my hole so what I've then done on the other side is mounted in I've put a wooden strip here two and a half centimeters deep so the idea is that the wood will sit on that when it's sitting on that that will support the weight, it's hanging off of this and then that's going to go across to that shelf where I'm going to have some L brackets so I'm going to drill some holes in this and I'm going to put some bolts through to hold it on four and then four there so that's the plan so I need to make a cardboard template to go on the top there get the size sorted, get the shape sorted. I will then cut it in nine mil ply. I'm gonna then carpet it so it's nice. Secure it in so it's nice and strong. And then this will open out. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. You're gonna like this. So then this will open out and then it actually hooks on there oh, that is wicked so no hinges folding down it's sticking out it's in the way it's not a very big space to reach into it actually just hooks down there so and then that will be storage all the way back I'm going full width so a nice bit of extra storage there now I hear you saying how did I fasten it on well, let me show you on this side here I just got some hooks that's what allows me to just hook it on the edge. Nice and simple. I've also got some pieces of metal, 
some magnets these are normal like cupboard catches which I salvaged off of a TV unit that I made my fancy damn worktop out of <coughs> so when I put it on there the magnets attach those bottom corners and those hooks clip in nice and there you go and then I've got a nice little drawstring doodah which matches my ones on my blinds which matches the one on the old transformer bed looking nice so let's get this template cut out let's fit it let's draw it onto wood cut it out let's fit it all install it dry install it before I carpet it then eventually carpet it then fit it all up bish bash boom done and then work out maybe some kind of light to go inside because it's going to be blooming dark inside there once that bit's on and then you'll get to see it all at the end so hang around to the end let's go make a template oh one last thing do you like my hidden they're not that hidden but you see my little hidden screw holes here let me give you a little lesson when it comes to carpeting so I've got these little screw holes Look, very, very nice, if we can focus. Can okay, we get some focus? Okay. So, I hide them in the carpet by folding it down like that. And after a little bit, if you brush it around, you can't really see it. But when you lift those hatches to drill the holes, make sure you don't blooming catch it with a drill bit, because you can see there, I ripped it all off. I wasn't best pleased, and now I've got to try and repair that. Anyway, let's go make a template. So, I've got my cardboard to make template from it. This wasn't quite big enough. So, it's, it, was, it was just big enough, but not as big as I wanted. I wanted it to be maybe 10 centimeters longer, but beggars can't be choosers. This is thick stuff. You may have seen this possibly in an old video. This was my cardboard bed that I'm on. So I made it out of cardboard first. I actually lied down on that. So let me show you how I've done this. So what I've done, if I can get it close enough, is you can see just here, um, I cut a centimeter, these are centimeter strips. I cut these centimeter strips, 12 of them, because when I measured that front piece, I needed to taper this side in for about 10 centimeters. So I made 12 slits duh, 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 down there and then I trimmed them off one at a time, one at a time, one at a time to the right size until it slotted in. Now let me put this in the front and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Right, so, get that in there. Right, up there. I've got a trusty old stick. This bad boy is gonna help me hold this up. Boom! I wish it was going to be that easy to fit this. Some overhead storage. Let me show you what I mean. Come and take a look. Right then, sorry it is a bit dark. These strips went all the way down there, but I knew they was going to foul over here, so I literally trimmed them, trimmed them, trimmed them, I didn't need to trim them no more. You can see, possibly you can see. Let's try and hold it like this. So you can see there's a big gap there. I think I'm going to fill this in so it comes all the way across. That's going to be the plan. So I'm a bit dark here, sorry folks. Right, so I've got that cut to the basic shape. I need to add these extra bits on here to fill that gap in. And then I've got my template made and it's holding up nice. That feels real sturdy. So let me quickly make these bits. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut them out of cardboard and see. Right, so we're about there. Let's take a look. So I have made a cardboard template. There we go. Cardboard curve coming there, obviously the handle's gonna be there. This bit's gonna be filled in but I can draw that on the template. That bit was just cut in the box already. So that's going to be solid, that's going to be hollow, that's going to be solid. 
and then if it fits right I'm going to carpet over that whole lot leaves that bit unwooded but carpeted we'll see what it looks like what I will do now let me put you down <coughs> boom so what I'll do now I've got the one side done is I will draw this out onto a board I'll flip it over draw it to the side measure it hope it fits and then cut it out dry fit it so do you want to have a look inside see how much space there is let's go and have a look we have our nice beautiful carpeted you can't really see the join yeah i can don't know i'm trying to kid and so you grab hold of your nice little toggle and you uh, you can hook that on there and then you've got your storage space let's move that out of the way so you can see we now have a nice kind of flush mount and yeah you've got a nice little look there stops just flying out and you can see a nice big space there it's quite a big space and let me show you a lot I've got a normal size arm and it's quite a long reach and there's a reasonable bit of height I think for storing clothes stuff like that they're perfect now when I make my bed at night this disappears into the front that's not used that back's not used they disappear into the cab I've got duvets in my cushion covers so Inevitably, I take a duvet out of one of those. I have to put that cushion cover somewhere, so that's going to go into there. Also, the Z bed that I'm sitting on. Let me move. The Z bed that one folds out with the mattress. If you've not seen it, I've got two covers on this. I've got this cover on the base, slides off. This cover on top slides off, and they need to go somewhere. And I can put those up there at night time, out of the way, and I can store clothes and stuff up there towels whatever I need so that's the plan look at it from here it looks pretty good pretty smart pretty smart when that curtains across looks nice and neat and on the driver's side once that's all carpeted that's gonna look real swish real swish look at that I like that how that hangs just there I can take it out of the way completely or just hang it down job done so Time, time to go and draw that onto some ply board, measure it to double check, and then get this thing made. Let's just pop that back. Nice. So I marked out my bit of wood, took the jigsaw to it earlier, and it's done. First cut, measured it three times. Hopefully, it will fit. Let's try and fit it in. So, it's in. Try and show you how it looks. There's my edge, there's the board, and it fits in snug fits in nice at the minute i've got a stick propping it up i don't know if you see something's far too dark for you to see in there it is night time but i've got a stick in the middle propping it up in the right position it's fitting around the, the handles nice that's fitted in nice so now now i'm just going to mark out where i'm going to put my brackets i'm going to have some l brackets holding it into the shelf I'm going to screw straight down into my batten that's running across the other side there. It's starting to rain, you might hear. Um, mark out where it's mounting, mount all the fixings, and then it'll be time to carpet it. Right, so I've got most of the fixing brackets now. Let me show you in here first of all. So, inside here, what I've done is... I've drilled some holes four and a half mil wide and I have these inserts, these metal inserts 
which look like they look like let's see if I can show you is it going to zoom in so it's threaded it has an allen key head it's threaded so I screw them in and then it's actually threaded inside to take a bolt so the idea is I can bolt through into that shelf I can bolt through into that shelf and rather than screwing in and damaging it every time this will just fix in there now and those threaded holes those threaded holes will just remain you can see I've got those bolts in those but they'll remain there and then I can just switch the torch off and then I can just mount it and unmount it I had my beam running across the back side of there I've now fixed that on so that's actually secured on now to the base that screws in through these four holes there so now I'm ready to fit these brackets I've marked them all out ready to go now all of these I've got to cut this top piece off send it down so that it's not so it's not going to go over that lip there so I can reach into the back and then I'm going to mount these on here and then once those are cut and mounted then this is ready for carpet both sides once that's carpeted then I can get it back in once that's carpeted and back in then it's all done so I'm going to get those brackets cut down get them screwed on and get it carpeted right folks so I finished my brackets I cut those down I fixed those to the board and then I carpeted both sides I was kind of rushing it one evening so it was very dark it wasn't really possible to film it being done um, and I've installed it and because it went in first time I didn't film it going in because I didn't think it was going to fit perfect it fitted perfect so now I'm going to show you how it looks first I'm going to take you into the cab show you how it looks inside then I'll take you through into the back and you can see what it looks like so let's go through to the front Here we have the finished shelf. So there was my supporting beam. The reason I attached the beam to the wood in the last bit of the video was because I wanted to carpet it around this and get that nice lovely finish. So you can see that nice, you can see what a nice finish just there. Now let's show you on this one here so the finished edge it's a bit dark in here there we go you can kind of see where there, there is little gaps you can see where the handles were that's where I left the gap the carpet just moulded around it nice that in my opinion is a lovely finish I've got loads of room height, roof height still I might put a cargo net here fall off the cross for actually putting things in the ceiling um, you know bits and bobs whatever you want in there the bits that I used to kind of keep up in the shelf let's, let's possibly see about putting those up there but that's a lovely finish now let's go and have a look what it's like on the other side let's cut through I've got the van in passenger mode at the minute if you're wondering So I can still get through even though I've got that board there. Here we go. So, like you saw last time, it pops open, you can hook down, or I can move it out of the way completely, and then we have 
the storage. This isn't the light. That's just a light for now. So you can see it joins there. There is those brackets. You can see them. But they are quite neat. They fit into that plastic lovely. There is a tiny little lip, which hopefully stop things trying to fall out. You can still see the handle there. But it fits an absolute treat. It's strong. I mean, this is this 9mm board and it's soft plyboard. It has a lot of flex to it, but when it's all secured in, that is real strong. Real strong. And I think that looks nice. It is. Like I said in the video, it is swish. Put in there. Clicks in with a nice positive click. Job done. So that's the overhead storage. If you've got any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching folks, please hit subscribe, like if you like the video, don't like if you don't like the video, and I'll see you on the next one, take care, bye.